What is up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to Cabela's to pick up an online order I placed with some ice fishing stuff. When I get back, we'll be doing unboxing, so stay tuned. I just got to Cabela's. Unfortunately, due to this pandemic, we were on lockdown. So I had to park in a certain area, make a phone call, and now go line up to receive my order. Got my order. Let's go home so I can show you guys what it is. All right, guys, so I just got home. Uh, let's get right into it so I can show you guys what I got. I'm so excited and can't wait for you guys to see this. First box. Got a nice Carhartt hat, perfect to keep you warm in the winter time. This will definitely be much needed when we do the boys trip up north to North Bay, Lake Nipsing ice fishing. Stay tuned for that. That will be a three part series. I guess you guys can tell what half of this is. Let's up. You would really think they would, they would put something like this inside a box and not the uh, wrapped in plastic. Okay, so we have the Berkeley Trilene Monofilament Ice Fishing Line. This is six pounds, 110 yards. So a little bit about this line. This line is very sensitive, which means it's instant feeling and you can really feel the set of the hooks. It's tough, durable. This won't give you any palms in the icy cold conditions. Also, it's very strong and low visibility, meaning that when light hits this line in the water, fish won't even see it. It's like it's invis invisible. They'll just see the bait or lure that you're using. And we also have the Berkeley Super Strong Trilene Fluorocarbon 6 pound 75 yard ice fishing line. Now, I know people say, why don't you use regular fishing line? You really can't. This type of line here is made specifically for ice and cold conditions. And now we have the big ticket item. I'm sure you guys can really see what it is, but, so this here is my first ever ice fishing rod. This is a 28 inch medium heavy Cabela's Fish Eagle 50 rod. So this rod here has a metal spool. You can get the ones that with the plastic spool, but it's not recommended. Due to the cold temperatures and ice, the plastic ones are known to crack and break. So that's why the metal ones are obviously very strong and very durable. This specific rod here is a 5.1 to one gear ratio which makes it very easy for beginners to use. Now, I do have another box. This box I did order a while ago. It was from Cabela's. I just waited for this other items to arrive so I can do a big video for you guys. This is the box here. So inside this box, we have a neat little rod holder. They're just, if you you have your your line set in the hole, and you don't want to hold your rod, you simply just place your rod on here and just wait for a bite. So 
also picked up this guy. It's a little compartment storage compartment for all your lures, baits, hooks, and weights. Instead of carrying around like a big tackle box, you can buy one of these, put in a knapsack, it makes it much easier to carry around. So I got a bigger one, and I also have a small one. This guy here, I'm probably gonna use once fishing season starts again. And I got this one here, also from Cabela's. This one's perfect for ice fishing, it's small, you don't need too many too many lures and the ice fishing lures and hooks are very small in general. Just so I can show you guys quickly what I have inside of here. So in here I got a cup I got a crankbait. Notice how much smaller it is than your normal crankbait you use on a nice summer day on the lake. I got a little jerk bait here. I have two different style of spoon lures. I don't know if you guys can see that. Spoon. This one needs golden orange. I also got a couple little jig hooks. Red, my favorite color. And this one's like blue and yellowish. Then also have a few hooks and a couple weights. I also purchased a tip up this year to try this out. This is the Freybill tip up, also purchased at Cabela's. So the way this works is this flag, turn this guy up. You are able to adjust the depth of it. So say for example, you're in your fishing hut and you have a few holes on the outside. You can always leave this outside. You set the flag down and when a fish grabs your line, this will turn. When this turns, it raises your flag. This way you know that you got a bite. So you go ahead and check that out. Then to put this away for storage, you just fold this down, tuck the flag underneath like so. It also comes with a, its own line, a beaver, this is the Beaver Dam tip-up line. This is a 30 pound line, 50 yards, and it's actually black in color. Last but not least, I bought a 16 piece ice fishing set, ice fishing lures. These lures are good for multiple types of fish, such as perch, crappie, walleye, and whitefish, and also lake trout. You guys can see that there. All right guys, that's it for today's haul. I'll be sure to put everything down in the description below. This way you can do your own research or maybe even purchase the items for yourself if you're interested. Lastly, before we end off this video today, I wanna to give a shout out to a good friend of mine. His name is Renato Cinsoni. He is a master fisher. He eats these fish, that's all this guy does. I'll be sure to link both his Instagram and his YouTube in the description below. His YouTube is fishing with an apostrophe, magicians, and his Instagram is Renato Cinsoni 89. Be sure to check out his Instagram page for sure. He posts all kinds of pictures of fish. This guy catches monster fish. I need to give you a little sneak peek of his Instagram. Look at this guy. This is, look at this pike. This thing's a monster here. He also does a lot of river fishing. We got a nice big salmon here. You guys have to check this out. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button if you haven't already done so and come back for some more awesome videos. See ya.